Hey, I'm Ashley. And I'm Amari. And, and this, this is, is our, our greatest, greatest party, party story, story ever. ever. It's 2016. Ashley and I are in good old Las Vegas, Nevada, attending Electric Daisy Carnival, taking it upon ourselves to just be the little raver hoes we were always destined to be. Yeah, we were. So far, everything is incredible. We've been dancing all night, hanging out with musicians, covered head to toe with glitter. Things started to get a little crazy, as in uh, Amari was trying to kiss everybody, but like nothing too traumatic. Now it's 2 a.m., I've lost my $800 t-shirt that's not even mine, and I'm only wearing sweatshorts. It's kind of a look, but it also signals that I need to get the out of this festival. I turn around for what feels like five-ish seconds, and then I turn back around, and everyone's gone. Not a single friend in sight. I reach to grab my phone to, you know, call some people, and it's not there because it's in Ashley's fanny pack along with my wallet. <laughs> Panic has entered the chat. As I'm freaking out, a group of fans come up to me to ask for a photo, and I'm like, yeah, totally, but like, can I use your phone? Because this isn't the 90s, I only know my phone number and my parents' phone number by heart, and my parents are definitely not at EDC. I'm frantically calling my phone, just in hopes that Ashley's gonna pick up. She doesn't, as per usual. <laughs> the fans realize that I'm in like some deep so they invite me back to their hotel with them. Leave with strangers? I'm like, sure. Stranger danger? It's hot as hell out here. What are we gonna do, set up camp in a desert? No, let's go. I head back to the hotel with the fans and the FOMO really just sets in. Somewhere out there, I know for a fact, Ashley is on a party bus doing some elite level Meanwhile, I am on that party bus doing some elite level I'm having so much fun on this party bus, I don't even realize that I have Amari's phone and wallet on me. Sorry about that, but yeah. <laughs> this bus has strobe lights, disco balls, stripper poles, and is heading to the nicest hotel on the strip. Like, I am so down for this ride. I love stripper poles. <laughs> While Ashley's out dancing her little ass off, ignoring my phone calls, I'm back at the hotel with these fans. They order me chicken fingers, mac and cheese, Caesar salad. We got the whole five course meal going. I'm starting to feel like somewhat of a normal human being again. I'm recovering, even though it's a little weird that I'm sitting here eating a salad with no shirt on in front of complete strangers. I tried to Venmo them in return for their services and they're like, no, no, it's our honor. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh my God, am I like Kylie Jenner or something? So I'm getting off the party bus and we are heading to the highest floor in the tallest tower of the nicest hotel into a mansion of a room. It's like a Playboy penthouse. This place has two pools and it's filled with famous people. Paris Sultan is literally DJing this party while Scott Disick is over in the corner dancing by himself and Marshmallow doesn't even have his marshmallow on his head. Everything's fine, the party's going great until all of a sudden my stomach starts to turn. I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up every five seconds, but there's so many famous people around me that my body literally won't let me do it. I do not wanna leave this party at all. My friend Tana really wants to talk to Scott Disick, but we can't even get past his security guards. Meanwhile, I am making frequent trips to the bathroom because I literally feel like I'm gonna bark. I don't know if it was the power of Paris Hilton's DJ skills, but it never ended up happening. But by this point, I literally feel so sick. I'm like, I should just get out of here. The hotel I'm at, we don't have Paris Hilton up in this bitch, but the fans are actually really nice and I'm having a really good time. And then I realized one of these guys is like kind of cute. I'm like, wait, should I like maybe make out with him before I leave? <laughs> That doesn't end up happening. Instead, the fans just order me an Uber back to my hotel. So I'm pulling up to the hotel, and as I'm pulling up, I literally see a sweaty shirtless Amari. And this is when I realized that he was not with us this whole night. <laughs> my bad. The whole night, I'm just not there, and no one thinks anything of it. So I finally hand over his phone and his wallet, and I apologize by throwing up at his feet. Um. And that's the story of why I will never go to Electric Daisy Carnival ever again. And I've been every year since. Makes sense. <laughs> to hear more stories like this or check out more of MTV's content, go ahead and click right here and hit that subscribe button.